In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's have a great class today. Enjoy each one of these teachers, and remember that I love each one of you very, very much. God bless. Good morning, everyone. So glad to be able to be here again with you, and we're just so thankful for all the good things that we've done. We've had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and now we're getting into the holiday season, and what an exciting time. But I just wanted to, again, welcome everybody this morning. And uh, this is actually our very last lesson in this very weird series that we have been doing. We've been talking about some pretty weird stories. And you know what? I kind of thought, you know, it's kind of an interesting time to have done a whole uh, series about weird things. Because we sure are living through some pretty weird times right now. But you know what? God is faithful and God is going to see us through just like he did all those weird stories in the Bible that we've been talking about. He's going to see us through all the weird things that's going on right now in our lives, too. So this week, I'm excited. We've got, I don't even know if I necessarily call it a weird story, but it is an exciting story. It's something that we are all looking forward to some to someday. And I just want to take this time right now again to welcome everyone. I'm excited that you're here, and I am excited about what's going to be happening this week. Um, listen closely to all the teachers. There's a lot of great things that need to be talked about. And let's right now, let's just pray that God uh, will help us to get our minds to all be in one place, in one mind, and one accord. There's some important things that we talked about today, and I want to make sure that everybody's listening really carefully so that we don't miss anything really important, okay? So let's bow our heads, and let's ask God to be with us today. And if you have a special need, you need to speak it for yourself because you know what? I can't hear you. And so, but God hears you. Every single one of those requests that you have, God hears you and he knows exactly what it is that you need. So let's pray. Let's bow our heads and let's pray and ask God to be with us this morning. Lord Jesus, I do love you so much. I thank you, God, for your goodness and for your mercy and for your love and your grace, Lord. And I just thank you, God, for the privilege to be able to be gathered together again this morning, Lord. I pray, God, for each one of these children, for your blessings upon them and upon their home and upon their families. Lord, I pray, God, that you would speak to their hearts today, Lord, that those that don't have the Holy Ghost, that they would hunger and desire and thirst after it. For those that have not been baptized, that they would have a hunger and a heart to be baptized. Lord, I pray, Jesus, that you would bless each one of those that might be sick in their bodies, that you would grant strength, grant healing to them. I pray for Pastor and Sister Walker, that you would continue to bless and to strengthen their bodies. Lord, we love you so much. We thank you so much. And once again, Lord Jesus, I just ask your blessing, Lord, to be upon this day. Bless each one of these children and bless each one of these teachers as we teach today, Lord. I love you and I thank you and I worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's have a great class today. Enjoy each one of these teachers and remember that I love each one of you very, very much. God bless. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope all of you have had a great week we are going to go over our memory verse this week. And it is found in 1 Corinthians 2.9. Sister Michelle wrote it, so hopefully you can read my writing. And we're going to say it together, okay? No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has known what God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2.9. Now we're going to do, do some uh, motions with our hands to help us remember that verse. So get your hands ready and do them with Sister Michelle, okay? No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has known what God has prepared for those who love him. That's 1 Corinthians 2, 9. Okay, let's do that one more time. I'm sure you boys and girls are doing great. I wish I could see you do them with me, okay? Let's do them again, okay? No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has known what God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. Wonderful, boys and girls. I know you did an excellent job. And don't forget that verse this week. 
and I hope you enjoy the rest of class. I know it's going to be awesome. Love you, boys and girls.
go to a commercial now. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes with some more weird news. Or at least I hope so. Today we're learning about heaven. And guess what? We don't know everything there is to know about heaven. We don't know exactly what it's going to look like because Jesus didn't tell us everything in the Bible of exactly what it looks like. But I can tell you one thing the Bible says. All of our sadness and our sorrows, things that make us sad, you know what? They're going to go away in heaven. They're going to completely disappear. We will get to be with Jesus and the angels, and then we get to worship him, and we get to be really close to Jesus. Wouldn't that be awesome? You know, sometimes in earth we, have, we struggle with the thing of not being able to see Jesus when we pray, but when we're in heaven, we're going to be right there with him. Hopefully my science experiment works, and you'll see what happens. I think our paper's still burning a little bit. Ready? Let's see what happens. We will be stuck really close with Jesus. We'll feel his spirit with us all the time. And you know what? We'll be spirit to spirit when we're in heaven. Just like how close this plate is to the jar. Have a good day, boys and girls. Hello boys and girls, I'm so glad that you're here today. And now it's time for the Bible lesson. We have been um, sharing stories from the Holy Bible that are true, but they were kind of unusual, weird, not your normal everyday happening. If I were to tell you each lesson and see if you remember, okay? Do you remember this lesson? of Moses, and Pharaoh, and the ten plagues. And the weird thing is that God protected the Israelites, or the Hebrew people, but the Egyptians suffered ten plagues. And now lesson two, which is about Brahman and the donkey. And he talked, and that's very weird. Donkeys don't usually talk to the master. Why did he hit me? What? But you know what? God was in control, and God told Balaam, please, only say what I tell you to say. Um, lesson three, Elijah and the chariot of fire. And Elijah caught the mantle of an extra portion of God's spirit. The weird thing was, he didn't die. He was caught up in the fire. Now, lesson four was about Elijah and the bears. And why? Because they weren't respectful. We have to respect the man of God always. And always respect what the Bible says. Always. The fifth lesson was Peter and the coin and the fish. And that was a miracle because most fish don't have coins in their mouths. That was kind of weird. But the beautiful thing is that 
Jesus paid taxes as an example that we have to pay our taxes. And Peter showed great faith and just trusted Jesus as his word that he would get the coin. Okay, lesson six is about Ananias and so, so the father. And what happened is that they lied, not only to Peter, but to God. And you never should lie to God. And people should not ever disregard the Holy Ghost. It's a very special gift of God. And it is to be treated with respect. Always, if you made a vow to God, always keep it. Number seven was Paul and Silas, and they were singing and they were praising God that they had an opportunity to witness. <gasps> and earth shook, and that they were set free. But you know what? They stayed. That was kind of weird. To think people after being bounded for one to one can get away. But not Paul and Silas. They stayed behind because they wanted to witness to the jailer. And not only did the jailer um, receive salvation, but his whole family did. And now for today's lesson. It's about the new heaven and the new earth. Open your Bibles to Revelation 21, and I'm going to read the first seven verses, okay? And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crime, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne, behold, I made all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for the words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all. Things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. What a beautiful promise. Can you imagine being in a new heaven and new earth? It's a beautiful place, boys and girls. The streets of gold, the angels will be rejoicing forevermore, and there is Jesus. On his throne, we will be with him forever, and we will never get tired. That's so marvelous. And I want to be ready. I pray, Lord, clean my iniquities, clean my heart, Lord. Renew in me a right spirit. And Lord, I want to hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. I want you to say, come to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And boys and girls, that's why we teach you every week. Because we want you to make heaven your home. 
How do we do that? Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, um, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, and, and evidence of speaking in tongues. And I'm just so excited. It is going to be so wonderful. And it will go on and on, just worshiping and praising God. Now, boys and girls, are you ready to go to the new heaven, new earth? Well, let's pray. Ask God to help you repent, to be baptized in Jesus' name, and fill with the Holy Ghost. You know where, what you need from Jesus, and he is able to give it to you. So let's be focused. Let's concentrate in our mind, and let's talk with Jesus, okay? Lord Jesus, I love you today, and I thank you, Lord. And I'm asking you to cover me with your blood today, Lord. Lord, help me to repent, to turn from my sins, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus, to be baptized in your wonderful name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of my sins. And Lord, I want to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, Lord, in evidence of speaking in tongues. And Lord Jesus, bless my parents, bless Pastor and Sister Walker today. Heal those that are sick today in body. Touch the missionaries. And Lord, thank you for your promise of a new heaven and a new earth. We don't know exactly when that will happen, but your word reassures me that it will happen. And now, Lord, let your grace and your mercy and your love endure it forever. Lord, give an extra portion of your love, of your mercy, your grace, and of your spirit upon all the children watching this video today. I thank you, Lord, and I trust in you because you are so loving and caring. Thank you, Lord. Now, Thank you, and I will see you next week.